Well, good morning. It is Sunday, July the 16th, and today is day one of VBS. We start tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm going to go straight into the Bible, King James Bible. It's uh, wet outside, dark, and uh, a little bit cloudy, so we have... Um, We've got to thank for that because I'm sure, I'm sure the, everything that's growing, I know everything that we've got growing. I had to water last night because it was supposed to have rained late and it didn't, so it rained through the night, but yeah, everything needed watering. Okay, so we're in the King James Bible, the book of Acts, and we're starting in chapter 20, 1 to 16. And after the uproar was ceased, Paul called unto him the disciples, and embraced them, and departed for to go into Macedonia. And when he had gone over those parts, and had given them much exhortation, he came into Greece. And there abode three months. And when the Jews laid wait for him, he was about to sail into Syria. He purposed to return through Macedonia. And there accompanied him into Asia, Sopater of Berea and of the Thessalonians, Aristarchus, and Secundus, and Gaius of Derby, and Timotheus, and of Asia, Tychius, and Trophimus. These going before tarried for us at Troas. And we sailed away from Philippi after the days of unleavened bread, and came unto them to Troa in five days, where we abode seven days. And upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow, and continued his speech until midnight. And there were many lights in the upper chamber where they were gathered together. And there sat in the window a certain young man named Eutychus, being fallen into a deep sleep. And as Paul was long preaching, he sunk down with sleep and fell down from the third loft and was taken up dead. And Paul went down and fell on him and embracing him said, Trouble yourselves, trouble not yourselves, for his life is in him. When he therefore was come up again, he had a broken he had broken bread and eaten, and taken and talked a long while, even until break of day, so he departed. And they brought the young man alive, and were not a little comforted. And when we went before to ship, and sailed unto Assos, there intending to take in Paul, for so had he appointed, minding himself to go afoot. And when he met with us at Assos, we took him in, and came to Mytilene. And we sailed thence, and came to the next day over against Chios. And the next day we arrived at Samos, and tarried at Trogilum. And for the next day we came to Miletus. For Paul had determined to sail by Ephesus, because he would not spend the time in Asia. For he hasted, if it were possible for him, to be at Jerusalem the day of Pentecost. We can see here that Paul was well-traveled and very busy. And yet he took time to speak at great length, so much so that one young man fell asleep and fell out of a window. But Paul wasn't so caught up in his busyness that he couldn't go down and fell upon that young man and brought him back to life. Well, God brought him back to life, but Paul performed for God. But he never departed from what was needed at the time. He wouldn't let busyness overtake him. I mean, you can see he was busy. I mean, he's traveling. Look how many name places just in 16 short verses we named. Busyness can overtake us. But he also relied upon the, the, his disciples. 
You know, they work together as a team. And that tells us something else as well. We can't go it alone. We need to be together as a team. We need to church. If you imagine church being a verb instead of a noun, we need to church. We need to be together. We are the church. And therefore, church is a conglomerate plural of people who make up the church. There's not one person who is a church. He's a Christian or a disciple, but together we make up the church. So together we must work, just as we're working together now for VBS. And this is a good exercise for me because although I've taken part in a few events at church, not many. Um, I mean, certainly I've helped to read on Sundays and I, I do this every day, but this is pretty much me on my own or helping out with Pastor Ken. But together, I'm working with somebody and this is good. I haven't worked with somebody like this for God for a long time. Now I do consider my work where I'm filling shelves, I work with other people, and yes, that's working together too. I'm working with children this time. It's been a long time since I worked with children, as I said yesterday. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an experience to sit back. Not to sit back. How do I say it? For it not to be me, but the Holy Spirit at work. I can do so much, but the Holy Spirit's just going to have to pick up. Because I know I have limitations. I have weaknesses. I will be tired. I will probably dry up in my mind and not know what to say, and the Holy Spirit will take over. I will probably forget what to do, and the Holy Spirit will take over. Either that or Kate and Joy are going to give me a prompt. <laughs> That's going to be the Holy Spirit working through them, you know. We will work together. Be anxious for nothing, Jesus said. And that's something we have to adhere to, isn't it? Be anxious for nothing. Have a great day. As you can see, I'm dressed ready for the 10 o'clock service. We're having communion today. Uh, John Henry has uh, preached the 8 o'clock sermon. They're just about coming to a close. I look forward to hearing him at 10 o'clock. And we will also be having communion. Very important to remember what Jesus Christ did for us. The body and blood of Jesus. Have a great day. Don't let the rain put you down. Still have a great day. This is a day the Lord has made. It is a special day. And it's the first day of VBS. Remember, God loves you. I love you too. Bye for now.